So I'm trying out this uh, retractable cable tie out, which I obviously don't keep her on, but I'm gonna have her on sometimes, you know. And I just put the water like over here, you know, right at the end of the extension. She seems to be doing all right on it. She's a little iffy. She's been on it about five seconds, so you'll see so you'll see her start to mess with it. It turns 360 degrees. It goes fairly deep in the ground. I was hammered in in there, and I don't know what kind of soil you know is best for it. But this is like sandy loam type stuff out here with heavy clay in the bottom. But it's in there secure. I mean, I could pull on it hard. It's not coming out. So it's not like those spiral stakes. I don't understand them spiral stakes, man. Maybe they need to be in a certain kind of soil or whatever, but you put a any type of bulldog or, you know, mastiff or a pit bull or anything on there, and it's just going to come out of the ground. Which makes sense to me because the spiral's tearing up the ground and kind of loosening it up. This is just a stake, and this one is for 80 to 120 pound dogs. So... I don't know. It seems to be working good. I don't remember the name of it, but if you're on Amazon or whatever, it's a uh, red one. And this cap doesn't need to be on there. That's just the cap for hammering it down. But yeah, she'll only be on there for a little bit at a time, you know, sometimes out here. I'll probably be doing some uh, prey drive work with her. So when she gets a little bit older, I'll probably start working some prey drive with her. Right now, she's starting to lose her puppy teeth at a fair pace. And I don't like doing anything like that, any kind of like bite work and stuff like that then. One, the other day I had an accident on the uh, tug toy and you know so she one of her baby teeth came out just a little premature which is fine but it caused a little pain you could tell no whining or nothing but she opened her mouth and turned her head to the side and like oh got one of those baby teeth so I just careful about that you know uh, but anyway it won't be long I'll start working with her on that prey driving this isn't for her to live in, you know. She's not going to have a doghouse out here. She's not going to be sleeping out here at night. I don't really feel like getting into how I increase drive like that. Prey drive. I mean, people that want to know or, or already know, they know. The rest of the people, they're probably, you know, they probably just... They don't care. They'll probably just be haters. She's doing pretty good though. Of course, I'm hanging out with her. If I went in, it'd probably be another story. I bet she'd come out of that collar. That collar was, uh, I think it was for, I don't know what dog it was for, but uh, she's not quite grown into it. So if she were to pull hard enough, she could slip it over her head. And I haven't really bought her a specific collar because I know she's just going to grow right out of it. And that's just, so I don't see the point. I've got enough that'll work for what I need them for. You can see how loose that collar is though. So no way I'd just leave her unsupervised she's about four months old so let's see if we can see that tooth I was talking about or you see that tooth right there she chipped out part of that baby tooth 